This is cactus juice. This is alumilite. Will alumilite dyes work in cactus juice? I tried to phone uh, Curtis down there at Turntex in Texas there this morning, but I got an answering machine. And uh, he says, you know, leave your name and number, yada, yada, yada. And I was about to do that, and then I suddenly realized, oh yeah, it's the 4th of July today. Now here in Canada, we celebrate Canada Day on the 1st of July. Down in Texas, they celebrate Canada Day on the 4th of July. Now I hope you know I was just kidding around there. Happy 4th of July to my American viewers. In the meantime, I'm going to take a little sample here of cactus juice. I'm going to add a drop of green, a drop of blue, and hopefully I come up with a color similar to this. And I'll talk about this piece of wood later. I got a feeling this is not going to mix. Come on. Well, maybe it will mix. It seems to be dissolving there. Okay. I wish it was a little lighter. But if you can see it along the edge of the plastic there, it is about the right shade of blue. If I go like this, you can where it thins out. Let's try it on this end here where it's not too serious if it doesn't work. I'm trying to hold this so that we both can see it here. I think that might just work. So here's the problem I had before the last time I used this wood. I, I would like to have had the wood this color, but of course naturally this paint gets turned away. And I ended up with wood that looked a lot like this. Okay. Um, which is nice, but it's not that uh, green-blue color. And I'm thinking if I was to do the cactus juice process to stabilize this wood, which is fairly soft and almost punky anyway, it's very, very light, a lot of air in it, uh, would I possibly be left with a, sort of a blue-green color? Um, well, let's give it a try here. Oh, by the way, this piece of wood. Uh, I don't know if any of you saw the series called The uh, Pen from the Blue Goose, but if you did, you'd know all about it. It was part of a boat that I had used about 55, 60 years ago when I was a very, very young man. Anyway, yeah. Let's get going here and see what we can do. Oh, I think what I'm going to do is, rather than throw this out, I'm just going to dump it in there. See what happens. In the past when I've had wood in there that has a lot of air in it and is kind of punky and very light, uh, well, the cactus juice boils quite violently at first. But in this case, there's just one blank in there. In other words, only about half as much as I usually have. And as it turns out, I'm not having near as much trouble with it boiling over.
I'm sure that you're all familiar with the law of diminishing returns. In other words, it's been in there now for exactly an hour. I'm going to leave it in for another hour, but that doesn't mean it's going to be twice as good. I got a feeling that probably, oh, maybe 95% or more of the air that was in there is out. Uh, yeah, I've often, well I shouldn't say often, but on occasion I've left it in for over three hours. And even after three hours, it's still slightly bubbling. I got a feeling that if a person was to leave it in there for a couple of days, you'd still have the odd bubble still trickling out. Well, the two hours is up. Now I'm going to have to readjust that little uh, that socket because uh, I won't be able to get it into the pressure tank the way it is there. Now I do want to be careful that I don't accidentally let the uh, blank float to the top. It's got to stay submerged. Okay, I think that'll fit. And that should stay in one spot. It doesn't really matter where this blank is in the liquid. It's, uh, like I say, the main thing is that it stays submerged. Now, in case you're wondering, that's walking fast for me. Well, it's not that bad. And once again, we'll see what we've got in the morning. <laughs> 